I suppose my first point is that you mentioned the many, many issues that come into a person's being and there is becoming a recognition in human rights law of intersectionality. So you don't have to decide whether you're going to take your issues about being Aboriginal or about being a woman or being uh, subjugated to violence or being um, disrespected and not promoted at the workplace as separate entities. So you would want to, in considering your form, to intersect all those, recognize that each one affects the other. So it's not just women's issues separated from Aboriginal issues, but being an Aboriginal woman is a has a particular impact. Um, and I think that when you're looking at how would you attack such an issue, you would look, want to look at the forms that would have mandate, mandate and jurisdiction over as many as possible. Mm -hmm. You might not be able to get them all in one hearing or in one form, so you might have to do a few. Certainly if you're dealing with violence, you want to involve the criminal role that uh, grievance arbitration and human rights wouldn't as well. Internally, I think you have options if you were to go to an employer uh, and put your case together and say, we need to have a plan to deal with all of this. That might be the most comprehensive way you can do it.